Let's reduce Lurus. That's their life gain. And then let's reduce an Enforcer. <clears throat> All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch Hello Good Game. Make sure to like the video to help support the channel today. I'm going back to basics with a mono blue tempo build. Uh, you know, we're just having fun on the channel the last couple days. Uh, I ran into a patch of frustration, and this has affected more than just the gameplay. It has bled into my personal life, uh, you know, my videos, which has in turn my business. So, you know, not having any of that anymore, uh, you know, I'm not looking to uh, break myself. I do want to have fun and, uh, you know, be in here for the long haul. So, uh, Again, we're just having fun today. We're still playing in Mythic. We're still making two new decks every day. But uh, we are just kind of, you know, letting the goal of remaining in the top 500 consistently slip. Because, you know, you do get locked into only playing four decks this way. And, you know, it's it's not really fun to just edit the same four decks in a, a tiny little way each day. Um, you know, again, I, I see it works. But uh, I really like to keep things fresh, keep things exciting. So that's the goal at least until we get to call time at which point you know none of this will matter anymore rogues will be gone everybody will be abusing angels and we can start uh to you know enjoy it and then eventually hate it i'm sure as we wait for uh the school of mages strixhaven to come out in what is it three months and seven days <laughs> already counted down early all right you guys again thank you so much for your time and attention Today's build is a tempo style deck where looking to, you know, control the match really aggressively while dealing a lot of damage, similar to the rogues, but just having a lot more fun with it. Let's check out more. All right, let's break down the deck list, then we'll talk about strategies and synergies. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to help support the channel and download Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant, a must-have addition to your client it's just going to give you so much information one of my favorite things is the deck advisor which recommends decks for you to play based on your current collection check it out overwolf link in the description below anywho deck list time four copies of essence scatter at instant speed counter target creature spell four copies of fairy vandal with flash and flying whenever you draw your second card each turn put a plus one plus one counter on fairy vandal decent Four copies of Wari's Disruption and Wari Ruins. Ruins coming in tapped, adding a blue to our pool. <laughs> a little water to our pool, right? And then at instant speed for two, the Disruption counters target creature spell, unless its controller pays one. Four copies of Negate at instant speed, counter target non-creature spell. Two copies of Omen of the Sea, an enchantment with Flash. When Omen of the Sea enters the battlefield, scry two, then draw a card. We can also sack it. Also uh, incorporating three mana into this cost to scry for two. This is actually semi-relevant in the deck because we're not using Yorion. We're not bouncing it. Uh, we're just able to, you know, use our available mana on our end step to, you know, set up our next couple of draws, which is cool. Four copies of our Threndroy Singer. Uh, this is a sleeper right now. This is a really good card. A 1-3 with flash and flying. When it enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets minus X, minus zero until the end of turn, where X is your devotion to blue. Uh, this makes chump blocking really, really nice. You can, uh, you know, have your opponent attack. They think they can just, like, attack over top of you or through you. Now you reduce their power. Hey, you get the block in and hopefully the kill. Two copies of Staggering Insight. Now, I know I said this was a mono blue deck. We do have a little bit of white splash in the deck only for this. This is the only spell with white incorporated and we're only using two copies of it enchant creature enchanted creature gets plus one plus one has lifelink and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player draw a card it's really just in here for the lifelink right we want the lifelink uh primarily into our final two drop here uh i guess second last two drop which would be the c dasher octopus uh it does have flash which allows you to mutate it also at instant speed and the mutate cost is two. This is why I bring it up now. Uh, so, you know, trying to keep all of our spells really cheap so we still have leftover mana uh, for counter spells and protection, right? 
Um, so, you know, that's great. And we also have Petty Theft at instant speed for two as well to return target non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Uh, this is quite nice just to, you know, keep that tempo uh, in your favor, right? You know, your opponent drops something worth three mana or more by you bouncing it back to their hand. Now you're getting a positive conversion uh, on your mana pools, right? Or a positive advantage, however you want to think of it. Um, and then, of course, you know, into the three drops now, the Borrower is a 3-1 with Flash and Flying. It can only block other creatures with Flying. Four copies of Neutralize, Counter-Target Creature Spell, or sorry, Counter-Target Spell in general. Uh, it doesn't matter of its origin, Creature, Planeswalker, uh, Artifacts, so I said that. And <laughs> Cycling for two, uh, which is nice. So, you know, maybe you have a handful of, uh, you know, counters already. Maybe they already have something on the board and you need to bounce it. So you're looking for something like Petty Theft instead. Uh, because it's too late for a counter. So a couple options for cycling to be useful there. And then again, the cycling uh, will trigger a draw, which would trigger our Fairy Vandal, of course. The Sea Dasher Octopus, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. This will also trigger our Fairy Vandal, much like the Staggering Insight. Uh, there is no life gain with the Octopus, but uh, you know. I think it's uh, a little bit nicer for the fact that it has Flash. Uh, you know, Staggering Insight is a main phase cast, whereas the Sea Dasher Octopus you can do on uh, an end phase, which is nice. Two copies of Ashiok's Erasure for four, an enchantment with Flash. When it enters the battlefield, exile target spell. Your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the exiled card. When uh, Ashiok's Erasure leaves the battlefield, exile uh, returned, uh, return the exiled card to its owner's hands. And four copies of our Shark Typhoon, of course. For six, an enchantment. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX Blue Shark creature token where uh, X is that cards converted mana cost, which is nice. And then it has cycling for two plus X. And then whenever you cycle it, you create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, um, you know, as well, equal to X, which is cool. Uh, you know, sorry for falling off here. One planes, two castle ventresses, nine islands, four temple of enlightenments and two fable passages. We can scry through the temple, which is really nice. And then we're also scrying through the castle ventress and uh, the passages in here just for the single planes to help us bring the Staggering Insight online. Staggering Insight's not something we want to play on turn two. Really, it's like a turn four plus uh, drop because we want to, you know, be able to play it and still protect it. Uh, again, so, you know, whether that's on turn four or turn five, uh, I think that's fine. Uh, with this out of the way, our main objective of the deck is to counter all of our creatures' threats or our opponents' threats and, <laughs> um, you know, just kind of get our own into play. So, you know, the Fairy Vandal with Flash is really good. The Singer with Flash is really good. And, of course, we do have the Borrower as well. And then we can, you know, protect everything, remove stuff, and put our Sea Dasher Octopus and Sacred Insight on those flyers. Start drawing more counters, more disruption, and, you know, just kind of push out the game from there. Uh, you know, I really like this style of tempo, um, you know. I just feel like it's so degenerate to play tempo and mill. Uh, so I just wanted to show a, a tempo deck that is it's still aggressive. It still could be annoying to play against if you did it too much. But, um, you know, it just seems to be more fun uh, for both the user and the person playing against it. So I know I, I, I need to just let go of the rogue thing, quit hating on it, whatever. Today we've got wicked uh, fibromyalgia in my arm firing up. So... You know, super distracted, can barely even think straight. Um, you know, uh, just random spots on my body will ignite in invisible flame. It's awesome. Uh, so that's been cool. But with, uh, you know, all of the complaining, whether it be, you know, physical ailments or rogues, which, you know, they, oh, they feel so similar. <laughs> oh, man, you know, it's bad when I'm comparing my fibromyalgia to playing against rogues. <laughs> Hey guys, we do get a couple rogue matchups today, but we have a lot of fun with it. Some good matches, and I'm just having fun again, uh, which is really important to me. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, check out our call time story. You know, a lot of money went into that, lol. So it'd be cool if, uh, you know, you listen to it. Uh, again, it's just an audio. We're going to get another version up with the subtitles. For some reason, they didn't work this time. And, uh, you know, we do have all the call time spoilers as well. So... Uh, with all of that out of the way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the gameplay footage and, uh, you know, enjoy this deck as well. Uh, I know I certainly do. If you have any comments, thoughts, or opinions, leave them in the comments below. And, uh, you know, I look forward to speaking with you. Enjoy. Take care. 
uh, become a YouTube member to help support the channel or drop your Twitch on me as well, uh, your Twitch Prime or whatever it happens to be. So enjoy. We'll talk to you in a few minutes. All right. Back to basics. When I first got super obsessed with Magic, it was one of the first duels games that where we could compete online on Xbox Live. And, uh, you know, I know that probably wasn't that many people playing it, but your boy got to rank number seven with a uh, mono blue tempo slash control deck. Um, that's what we're going to throw back to today. You know, having some fun. Um, back to basics. Rogues on the play at 88%, you know. Right where we left off, uh, you know, fun things. Always rogues. Always, always rogues. That's fine, though. Who cares? We'll just, uh, you know, not give them any power. Right? They can do them. Pass our turn. Get hit for one. Yeah, we do have flash blockers as well. Oh my god. Classic rogue player. I've opened mana, and there's spells I can play, but I, 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 I'm not sure if I should play them. Couldn't went for the block. I was worried about removal though. Let's just play defensively again. Keep our counters up. Only I'm allowed to take my time, rogue player. Not you. They don't have any other black sources, so I'm not worried. Right, we can kind of let our essence scatter go. I guess the land can stay. No attacks, end our turn. They are in a position to play their Lurus. I mean, Graveyard's got nothing to bring back, but it is an option for them. Thank you. They could counter our Essence Scatter, but, you know, what else are we going to do? Let it hit play? They use the rest of their mana, and there's nothing for it to really bring back, unless they cycle that. Let's take a hit. In our turn. I think if we trick Luris into an attack, uh, that could be beneficial. I mean, there could be counters, but, you know, I don't really know. Okay, so I guess we just cycle our Shark Typhoon then, if they don't play anything.
I get the mill. It's just one damage. Cycle of Shark for two. We didn't have a counter available really other than neutralize, but I don't think they would have cast it into open mana. So they're tapped here, and we do have a protection, so you know this is where it gets really awkward. Getting the draws nice. Ooh, and a gate's awesome too. So, this is where it gets weird. Can we control the rest of this match? Hardcast Sharks is nice here for our next one once we get enough mana. Rogues doesn't have too much utility other than a counterspell to make us waste that mana, but... You know, if they're tapped, we can do it. If not, we should cycle it. They already have plenty of cards. Who cares? Alright, let's counter that. I don't know why that's being cast on sorcery speed while we're tapped already. Other than to pull our man so they know they can attack. But that's like whatever. Land out of the way. It is a castle, mind you, but... Let's take our draw. Play tempo. They want to play tempo? Let's play tempo. Let's kill them before they kill us. Not really worried about Luris. I'm not going to counter it. I'd save my protection for the Vandal. Are you serious? Draw a couple more cards, why don't you? That taps them, so we know we're good to counter this. We get hit for four. Which we gain right back. Land off the top. I do not mind. Thank you.
All right. It's time to start uh, getting into it. We have two counter spells. There's the first. We have one more. Wow. Wow. It could even have more removal on top of this. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how the cookie crumbles. They could counter or neutralize. No, okay. Flurus in play. We get hit. For seven. Let's grab another counter spell. That's not great, but it's fine. This is fine. Take the mail. I think we counter this. They have drawn so many dang cards. Just stop it already. Nice. Getting desperate, apparently. <laughs> All right, we have five mana available. Let's reduce Lurus. That's their life gain. And then let's reduce an enforcer. All right. We have three, four, five damage available. That Heartless Act did save them. The life gain helps. Get a good draw. Oh, hot dog! Hot dog! I don't know if that's the right choice or not. Nice. Of course they have more Thought Thieves. 
Good game. Of course they had another. I think we just scooped there as well. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking this was attacking. I get so triggered against rogues. Uh... All right. Uh, no Luris, which is nice. So it's going to be Xerath Sand then. Just kidding. Let's see where this uh, cookie crumbles. Gruel, mono green. Gruel. I must want counter not creature spell, but we could negate. But we still need another. Looking for essence scatters. There it is. Four mana. The thing is, we're gonna have lots to counter, not just this. It's gruel food, which is disgusting. Things haste. That's frightening. They're fully tapped. Pass our turn. We could even bounce the wolf. Let's kill this Florhedron. Our mana is open, so they can play something, but... Let's just grab advantage, and we can bounce whatever they play and then recounter it later, is uh, my game plan. Right? That way we're still getting the value here, not missing out on it. It's not that good of a card to have. And we can bounce it back to our hand if they try to sack it. Not sure that it needed haste, but... Let's take the damage. Yeah, take our turn. Pass our turn. We get our stinger back. Sorry, singer, not stinger. That definitely just begs for a counter spell. Again, they're fully tapped, but... Yeah, we should use our, our big counter. Just in case we do pull another land, then we can two drop and still hold up our essence scatter. Let's start hitting for a whopping one a turn. Let's neutralize again.
They have one card in hand, two mana up. I think we're safe. I don't know where this fourth land is, lol. <laughs> Worst case, we can flash in an octopus or something. That's the third Troll King in a row. Woof. Right? That's psycho. There's kind of a land. <laughs> Let's just look for more land. <clears throat> Hit for a whopping one. End our turn. Land in play. Well, that is a thing. Cycle a shark for one. Nice. That's really good. We're going to counter their fourth Troll King next turn. <laughs> yeah, we can bounce this. And also, you know, uh, I think we're just in a fairly good position. Staggering Insight can come into play here. Take our draw. I wish Insight was an artifact or equipment that we could replay all the time. That'd be cool. Woo! Look at us grabbing this land finally. So we're back up to three mana, which is nice. We're at 20 life again, so, you know, not much that's relevant there. This can actually make food, uh, oddly enough, so let's essence scatter that, because that'll allow them to replay their Troll Kings eventually. They should defend, but they can't kill the shark, so that's nice. I almost want to take the draw. So let's bounce the blocker. Chomp, chomp. Oh, uh, but it actually dies because we're tapped now. I didn't think of that. We do get the draw, though. Which is probably so worth it. Like, the uh, hand advantage that it did provide is still uh, better than what we lost. But we had to attack anyways. That's fine. They're top decking into counter spells, so I'm not worried. Somewhat of a stranglehold. Let's let this enter. There's no fight effect. Right. They can give it haste, but that's fine. We've got plenty of life. We'll 
We'll just reactivate our draw engine again. They're not attacking. Stinger in play. We know they've got no stomps or anything, so we're uh, we're fine to do whatever we want. Stinger is a siren. Hashtag non-human. Which is always good. We'll go underneath. I like to keep it up at about three. Dodge the bone crusher giant. Better to survive than deal damage. And we are into it. Let's take a draw. Come on! Let us smash. Yep. Take our draw. I think that's all she wrote, boys. Getting roped. I'm so slow. So slow. I mean, at least they didn't play rogues. At least they didn't play rogues, right? Uh, cry. And our turn. Oh! <laughs> I get that they're probably upset with us, but we didn't even counter their wolf. We didn't even count. That is a lot of counter spells, though. Negate, neutralize, neutralize. Neutralize, Essence Scatter, Shark Typhoon, Essence Scatter. <laughs> we did a couple things there. I really like Gruel Food. I don't know what this drawbridge is doing in there, though. It doesn't belong. And, uh, you know, we almost beat that rogue deck. We beat this deck. I'm curious to see what our next matchup is going to be like. We are running very few land in the deck, but, uh, you know, it runs very smoothly off of very few land. Oh, they're still here. That's hilarious. Let's just take the damage. That is actually hysterical that they are still here. They didn't just leave. Double draw. Seems fair. We're still at 21 as well. Vandal's not so bad. End our turn here. How do you beat that hand, right? That's pretty gross. Don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about that either, right? So, see you later, bro. All right, our opponent goes first. Keep seven. Ah, uh, no one drop, so we can play slow for the scry. More land. I don't think we really need that much, do we? One, two, three, four. Let's look for counter spells instead.
Um, that is a good card. Pass our turn. All right. Just give them a second to log into our stream. You know, they got to check out our hand real quick. <laughs> what a joke, right? Why would they take this long? A Skyclave. Okay. I mean, this doesn't really make sense, especially when they've taken so long. Just bounce that back. Pass our turn. Still no counter magic yet, which sucks. We can only assume they have removal. Oh my god. Yes, that is your Luminarch. Counter. The vessel's pretty cool. All right, passage in play. Do they have something else? Speaker? Who knows? Nope. No, Ozolith. Sure. We have to pull some counter magic here. Let's keep our damage high. That does fill a certain void. They could maul the vessel. If they have another white source, that is. Let's pass. They're obviously doing something. The three damage doesn't destroy us or anything. There goes their mana. Should we bounce it now or should we bounce it main phase? Right, because we could play a creature, get rid of the summoning sickness. Nah, let's keep the uh the singers. Okay, negate's nice. Let's take our draw. End our turn. What do you guys think about a hard cast shark typhoon in this matchup? Yay? Nay? Probably just hold up control. It's a big hit. <clears throat> sure. We don't get the kill, but it just doesn't hit us. Vessels in play, we don't care. We need another petty theft. Start hard casting sharks, probably not. Just use it offensively. Let's take the scry. Temple can go. We keep one back to block. Take our draw. Another negate's fine. 
We can push in our other borrower. It's to the point the uh, Lumark Aspirant can no longer attack. Okay, that's interesting. They could all go into the vessel. Still not enough, I don't think. Huh. Let's cycle our shark for three. We only have eight damage. And they're gaining life here, so... You know, that's kind of gross. We could have waited on that shark. I was thinking about blocking, but we changed our minds. Now they have the ability to play something, and our counters are down, which sucks. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to stop that anyways. So they get another flyer. One card too low. I'm going to main phase this. Looking for an answer. Still push in. We lose our borrower. We have to get rid of it, though. Right? That Tabarex can't stay in play. They get to draw a card. They also gain two life, I believe. No life. Just a card. Uh, we are relatively safe here. I think they're going to win, though. We should have hardcast that Shark Typhoon, maybe. Right, the life gain just wins them the game. Hmm. <laughs> Ouch. we would have hard cast the first one, we could have cast this on top of it. Oh, that hurts, right? That's our turn. Where's that petty theft? Good. We're still in a really bad spot, though. But okay, three. Another silly disruption. I thought I had flying because it was a 6-6. Six, six. Like, it must be that demon already. It's worse. It's got lifelink. Good game. 
There's no way to come back from that. All right, our opponent goes first. Try and squeeze out another win here. More rogues. Hey, it's not just rogues. Nice. We'll give him a heart. We'll change our mind. End our turn. End our turn. Can I say sorry? I thought they were playing rogues. I feel bad. Could be a Black Lance, but again, it would only get the kill on one of them. We can trade the shark with the paragon. I think that's a little healthier for us. that bat back. At least the Black Lance is a human. Paragon's gone. The bearer. They do get a draw. It's a zombie. Let's take it. Another enforcer. Pass our turn. The Enforcer is also human. They grab another bearer back, which is pretty cool. Yep. 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 Perfect top deck. We have five mana. Which isn't enough to actually stop that. Shoot. We just goofed up. Oh no, we have six, not five. That's perfect.
We did mess that up. We should have insight first. Um, for some reason, I thought we were down to five, but this still works. We just miss out on our life gain and draw. Maybe we get blessed and a negate uh, being held up saves us. Let's pretend that that's what we wanted to do, right? End our turn here. Hit for six. And they've got a bearer in hand. So we can main phase this in just so it gets the counter. Let's grab some life. And we still have our negate against spot removal. Oh, that's nice as well. And our turn. The uh, damage they do, I don't think, is super upsetting. We should kill this. Oh no, they're both human. No blocks. It'll get stronger. Let's just leave it and then it'll survive. Down to six. Our turn. Okay. Let's grab another two life. Vandal goes up. An even better blocker now. End our turn. We're at eight. Bouncy Enforcer, just stopping the damage. I don't care about the mill. Paragon dies. Enforcer in play for the mill. We don't care. Isn't it crazy how I got triggered by a turn one uh, knight? Or uh, guild thief enforcer? We don't really care about this so much, I guess. Just protecting our singer. That sucks because they sacrificed their creature. So the negate was very helpful there. Big hit, we're up to 10. Grab a card. That seems pretty comfortable. Block Twain in play. Hit for three isn't a problem. We can flash in a borrower here. Engineer our draw with the scry. Vandal can go. We already have one. Flash in a Dirge Bat, maybe. Down to two. Draw a card. We're up to nine. And our turn.
They grab their standard bearer again. Good game. Sorry, I thought you were rogues, bro. <laughs> we go first. It's going to be a little slow. Hello, good game. The one punch god. One drop Yorion. <laughs> Yorion is the one punch god. He's come tapped anyways, so does that, unless we pull it, but let's just get it out now. Rebooter. Okay. That's gonna be hard after they know our hand. They take her to gate. our turn. <laughs> Getting some really nice matches today, which I appreciate. Gain two life, plus they mill themselves. Interesting. Omen in play. That's our turn. Let's allow it, even though we can't do anything. Um... Let's take this trident out of play. That's our turn, I guess. Let's definitely get rid of that. If we can keep our CMCs below three, dodge ECD. This is oddly similar to a deck of ours. Okay, let's just sneak it on there. Maybe we draw a counter spell. Not quite. So we are vulnerable. Three cards in hand. Oh, what we should have done is kept our mana up. Bounce the Freebooter to take our Neutralize back. I see. That could come back and save us. Interesting. Let's see what happens here. Nice. Okay. That's why they weren't worried about throwing it to the grave.
Nice, bro. Deep press. No, Pokeranos can just fight us every turn. Right? That's it. That's it. Not happening. Good game, though. I like that. Going first. Hand looks actually relatively decent. Take our scry. More counter magic. Can't uh, really complain too much there. Counter magic's up. We also have Omen. We actually can't touch that, which is pretty funny. That looks like an omen. Alrighty. We need a third land, as funny as these cards are. There it is. Oh. Neutralize is open. Scrying from uh, here on out. Could use a uh, disruption there as well. I don't think there'll be any uh, lack of big spells on their behalf though, so we'll sneak it out. Disruption hits other things, not just creatures like this. Um, but again, you know, they've got that one mana left over. Get rid of the draw engine, of course. More land, pass our turn. We could sack Omen for a scry. Five mana. Counter that. Why not? Still have disruption up. Let's just bounce this guy. Yup. Passing that turn. Five mana dropping to six. Last neutralize. Six mana. This can enter play. Let's get this forward in. Our turn. Pass. The ooze is kind of annoying. I think we can counter that. And we can also counter this. Alright. The gates are not good. What backs and turn? Calling Barons is disgusting. Uh, 
Oh, negates against a creature deck. Cool, 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 cool. Berenson just beat us down into oblivion. At least a negate becomes useful, oddly enough. Activate this. We need like petty thefts and stuff. We don't want it to escape, really. So they're totally tapped here. We can use our disruption. Okay. This is good. All right, if we can just lock them out. It's a land. Still. Ouch. It's still a land, kids. Ouch. That's a line of text we just brush over most days. not good that land will just outpace us we can chump block with the shark they have enough mana to play that and then escape it four other cards they've got seven I guess we could have left it, did the trade, and then countered the re-incursion. I'm hoping they spend all their mana on it again here and not the barons. Gives us another turn. Right? Ouch. Barons goes to eight. Henge life. They're mad at our negates, but I'm mad at their henges. Really? Really? 
sucks, but what are we gonna do? There's nothing we can do to interact with that Baron. It's, they just win. Right, we can't bounce it. So it's still a land. Let's try to grab a counter spell. Good game. The trample just wrecks us, let's be honest. Let's trample anyways. We should have kept uh, the dasher to block and went in on the borrower. Because we could have survived for one more turn. Right, but here they still have lethal. Because we uh, attacked too much. We just get a land anyways. Brutal. Going first is a treat. I guess we'll uh, just sit here and wait. It's not a land, but it, uh, it can find us a land, but it's not a counter. But it can find us a counter. I think it's just like an extra thing we can toss for now. That is a good flash blocker. Which we don't have yet. our turn. We should be set up here. This must be big red. I don't see a red drop not playing until turn 3. Oh, it's a gruel. Now that makes sense. Or even um, Team here, right? Pass our turn. Wow, all reds. So they'll probably stomp this anyways, but let's try to get it in play. Just fire prophecy, okay. We had to try. We had to try. They have to be using Genesis Ultimatum, right? Why are they only playing... Rule lands, though? Where are the blue sources? Let's try it again. Screw it. They must have something. Soul 
Let's see, this has got to be that gruel control deck. Another creature is good. That's our turn. Big red splash green for ramp, something like this. Omen in play. I think four lands are fun. Pass our turn. And looks good. I'm sure again there's more removal. We could be waiting till we get more land to try to protect it, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that is nice. Let's get that in play. Just so we can, you know, octopus and protect it next turn. We need five mana. Let's keep the borrower alive. I need to get a draw engine active. They have free rain here on their turn. Let's see what happens. There's another green. Big gruel. Slicing beast is actually okay. I mean, I'd love to counter it, but it could be worse. Right, we have flying. If they're going to remove it, they do have to do it here, which is smart of them. Nice. Okay, so we get burned. Ouch. Ouch. Easy counter. Need a borrower. I guess we could have redopt, reduced its strength. That would have been smart. Idiot. <laughs> Taking four more damage here. Potentially five. for four. We need a petty theft. Double draw. No. All right. One more turn. But even then. Two available mana. I'm sure we're fine. Just hit for four. 
down to four. Could have a, an extra little bit there, but that's on us. It was a misplay. Really? Wow. All the answers today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like, I have no idea what makes people take so long. Like, you know, all of your mana is tapped. All you have to do is press the attack button. And it takes you 35 seconds to come to the decision. <laughs> we could scry, look for an answer, but it just doesn't matter. Because I am over it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so burnt out. I know I need to be setting a positive narrative for everybody. Oh, but sometimes it just feels nice to be human. <laughs> right oh man having fun you know i'm just gonna start brewing decks like uh i would if i were a kid you know what i mean the meta is fine i get it people like to win so do i trust me that's why i like to push up there but it's such hard work it's so hard work Oh my gosh. Uh, I have not eaten breakfast yet today. I've not had any water. This may be a uh, a sign of why I'm unable to form a simple sentence structure, but I digress. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the deck. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel to a friend. We do have a couple promotions going on. Uh, to anybody who completes my raid sponsorship uh, thing, you have to download it. Uh, play the tutorial. It only takes five minutes. You guys are going to be entered in to win a bunch of gems as well, which is really cool. So, you know, uh, get your Mastery Pass paid for. Uh, download the game. Uh, send me a screenshot of you completing the tutorial. And, uh, you know, then you'll be entered in on to win that. We only need 32 more people, I think. I think we're three out of 35. So, you know, get in there while you can, right? Because the offer does go away once it's filled up. So... Uh, it would be well worth your time uh, to get in on that. So, uh, you know, also the assistant, you can support just by becoming a member uh, on YouTube or Twitch. Blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I'm going to grab some water and we're going to probably film another video. <laughs> Living that life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you. If you're still here to the end, uh, you know, I don't know why, but <laughs> give me a woof in the comments below. You guys know what's up. We've been doing it a couple days now. Wolfgang! All right, take care and we'll see you in the next video.